gather in, we're not actually using the microphone. <laughs> There we go. There we go. All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Nick Blanford. I'm the chair of the Bloomington Arts Commission uh, Public Arts Committee. Um, thank you for joining us today to dedicate the Aurora Almanac installation in the Trades District parking garage. This project was possible thanks to the city's 1% for the Arts Ordinance, adopted in 1994. This stipulates at least 1% of the cost of construction for select capital projects are dedicated to public art. This project started way back in June of 2020 with a request for qualification sent by the city. Roughly 100 submissions were reviewed by six members of the Bloomington Arts Commission, as well as community member Ernesto Castaneda, who has worked as an architect in Bloomington for 20 plus years and is currently the lead designer and architect for Lorne Wood Builders. Some of those folks are here today, members of the Arts Commission, if you could raise your hands to be recognized. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. We narrowed those 100 submissions down to three finalists. And eventually, we selected the excellent proposal from Esteban Garcia Bravo. In collaboration with Weber Group, this resulted in the Aurora Almanac installation, which we'll see here today. While Esteban will tell you more about his creative concept, I want to speak a little bit about why we selected his proposal and why we've enjoyed working with him so much. Esteban brought a very thoughtful, creative vision that would add a visually stunning and aesthetically unique piece to Bloomington's public art collection. Through his use of technology and his approach to fabrication, the project offer also offers a nod to the concept of innovation that's at the heart of the Trades District. And most importantly, the concept was built on a foundation of community engagement. Over the last year, Esteban has hosted community workshops in person and virtually to allow members of the public to submit designs. Those designs were then converted into 3D models, which could be fabricated as a series of tiles. Esteban also hosted a website where people could submit designs online. This provided wide access to community members of all ages, all levels of artistic ability, and that led to ideas that could be integrated into Esteban's own artistic process and his own cohesive visual feel for the project that you'll see. Esteban's commitment to community engagement is further seen in the collaboration with Windfall Dancers, who will be performing later. This is a model project for how the Bloomington Arts Commission wants to operate. Esteban is a Colombian-American artist and educator based up the road in Lafayette, but this is his first work in Bloomington. Weber Group is based in Sellersburg, Indiana, across the river from Louisville. They have a long history of commercial work in museums, zoos, residential construction, but this is not only their first collaboration with the city of Bloomington, it's also an entrance into the public art space. And so we were able to work with in-state partners while still diversifying the perspectives and voices that are seen in the Bloomington arts scene. And so on behalf of the Bloomington Arts Commission, I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. I'd like to thank the mayor's office and the city council for their continued support of the arts in Bloomington. And with that, I'd like to introduce Mayor John Hamilton. Thank you. Oh, I'm really happy to be here. This is exciting. This is so cool. Nick, and to, thanks again to the Arts Commission members, Brian e. Nick, and all your members. Thank you. Just wonderful work you guys are doing, making our city so much better. Uh, I want to thank uh, Alex Crowley, Head of Economic Sustainable Development, Holly Warren, who's who are doing our arts work on behalf of the city. Thank you. Thank you. Standing strong. That's good. Um, I, you've heard already some, I, you're going to hear from Esteban Garcia Bravo, who, who will be uh, telling you more about this, who designed it, the Weber Group, the Arts who have gone all through, but I also, the members of the community who participated in this, did any, is anybody here uh, willing to acknowledge they had a little tile up there that they helped with? Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> well, he's one of a hundred artists, so, you know, not, 
I, I thought about the tile. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I'm not a art, graphic, graphic artist person, but also we do want to thank um, CSO Architects in Garmong who did this garage itself uh, that, that made this possible. And I just, I'll just note, it's really fun. You know, this, this was once part of the biggest furniture factory in the world, the showers furniture complex that we're part of here. Uh, Bloomington has a long history of making things and innovating. They actually developed, we believe, the concept of veneer furniture. They really made that popular, which made uh, nice furniture affordable to a lot of Americans and people all around the world. We're in the Trades District, which is now meant to be a place where more creativity happens, and we encourage entrepreneurs. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm, I'm wearing my Omicron mask because we're, you know, we're worried about all that, but this is a place where we want to see more creativity and we're welcoming over at the mill the fastest growing co-work space in Indiana uh, and, and more opportunity for things to happen. So we're very excited about this garage. I know it's a garage, but it's helping people get here. It's helping people be part of this community and this district and making all that happen with uh, also the 1% for the arts. So, um, I'm going to get out of the way, I'm going to let you hear from the artist, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to introduce briefly our performers, and um, this is the best garage opening you're ever going to go to, I bet, I bet, Arthur. So Esteban, come on up here. Thank you so much for being here. A faculty member at Purdue, which is okay, we're, uh, we're very pleased to have you here to us uh, learn about you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, I really have no words to thank everyone for their support during this journey. Um, the beginning of this idea came for me uh, in a moment of loss, solitude, and confusion. The seed of this project came from a dream where I visited a magical temple with shape-shifting decorations. I took this dream as the beginning of my journey that I took as a time on my studio to figure out myself and what I was trying to do with my life. This, this was during the time of COVID lockdown in, on the spring of 2020. And I took my art practice as a refuge, um, a place to heal and learn to finally accept who I am and to open up to the love that over others have to offer. Um, opening, uh, opening up this project, uh, the process of collaborating with the community uh, really opened my heart, and I am so thankful for the gift of collaboration and friendship here in Bloomington. Each of these tiles is the materialization of the collective dreams and feelings of, of different people. It is called Aurora Almanac because it is like a catalog of daily emotions that are always changing. I want to thank the Bloomington Arts uh, Commission for giving me the opportunity to make this my first public art project. All right, all right. We're going to say we knew you win. <laughs> uh, thanks to Sean Starowitz for mentoring me through the early stages, and Holly Warren for guiding me towards completion. Uh, a big shout out to Alex Wa uh, Whaley, my 3D modeler and assistant. Uh, Weber Group is an amazing team. Uh, they're great fabrica fabricators and very human. Uh, thanks to Nandi, my wife, for teaching me how to receive the love and kindness in this world with all the shapes and colors. And to my Lafayette friends, I love you. Thanks for making me the artist that I am today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Esteban. Um, I want to thank you also for uh, mentioning uh, Sean Starowitz, who, who helped be here at the beginning. He's gone, but not forgotten. And he'll, he's still here, so we appreciate that. Now. This is really unusual in a garage opening to have a dance performance, at least in my experience. I'm very excited about this. We, uh, as part of 
as part of this whole experience about uh, enlivening and inspiring our community with art, we want to keep that live and changing. And, and to that end, uh, the Arts Commission invited the w Bloomington's Windfall Dancers to create a new performance around this installation. The whole piece, I'm told, will be debuted in the spring of 2022. They may not be all done with it, I don't know. But anyway, they're going to debut it then. But we get to see a piece of it today as they share that with us. It's primarily in the South Tower here, I'm told. You know there's a North Tower that looks like this too. You may want to go see. Uh, and so I'm told, I'm supposed to say here, you may want to move back a bit to see it all. The, the, the Windfall Dancers were founded in 1978. They're from graduates of the IU Dance Program. They've been active since then in our community with a rotating crew of dancers. So I want to thank you for your part in this performance, Windfall Dancers. If you need an explanation, you're welcome to use the podium. If you want to go right into it, however you want to do it, the floor is yours, or the tower is yours, I guess. I hope nobody rolled their eyes when I ran over here. The, um, the only thing that I would like to add is the inspiration for this piece um, developed through conversations with Esteban about how he, his inspiration for the development. So he talked about um, how he used meditation and how so many of the tiles have a variety of shapes um, and so these are things that we kept in mind while we were developing the movement for this piece so thank you
Don't. Come on up closer now. That I can't speak loudly enough. First, that was amazing. That was beautiful. If you ever go to a public art garage opening that's cooler than this, I want you to write me and take a video of it because I, I can't. I can't believe it. That was just amazing. And I wanna. I also want to thank you. Um, you know, during this pandemic being able to see and feel the performing arts bring us together that way. I almost cried when you all got together again at the end. It's like, oh my, you're, you're separated. And anyway, it was beautiful. Thank you so much again for Windfall, Bloomington's Windfall Dancers making that part of this. Woo! Awesome. All right, so um, we're gonna cut a ribbon now. I want you to just know the 1% for the arts in this city that we all as a community support has uh, invested about $600,000 over the last two years in these kinds of projects. There's gonna be an opening if you see the art going up on that 4th Street garage. We'll be doing something on that in a few months. Uh, and there's another project coming up here just a block away uh, down the road. But today we are going to cut a ribbon. So we're gonna ask uh, Esteban and Nick and I and Holly are gonna formally open up this art project, Aurora Almanac. So uh, let's, Holly, how do we do that? Up here? Thank you all for coming. I hope you'll enjoy this. It's beautiful at different times of the day and night. Uh, and thank you so much again, Windfall, for dedicating it that way. Okay. No, you don't hold it. You got to cut it. Oh. You, need a, you need a volunteer to hold it. Oh, you got to cut it. Oh. We get behind it. Okay, now you get to climb the stairs, check it out, whatever.